Hello, everyone, and welcome to a special edition Survivor Radio Network, where we cover the Xbox Series S and X launch. If you like this video, give us a like, consider subscribing, and join us on Discord. Everything we talk about will be linked below. Let's jump into it. Microsoft launched two consoles on Tuesday, November 10th, the Xbox Series S and Xbox Series X. Both consoles have a majority of the same next-gen features, such as ray-traced reflections, real-time lighting, and super-fast SSD load times. Super-fast SSDs also allow these consoles to hold up to six games in memory and swap between them on the fly, picking right where you left off in seconds. The primary difference between the Series S and X is the output resolution. The Series S can output a maximum of 1440p, while the Series X can do full 4K at 60 or 120 frames per second. Microsoft made an effort to keep their new consoles as part of the existing Xbox ecosystem. This means that all your old accessories like controllers and headsets will work with the new consoles as well. The new controller with the Series S and X does have some minor improvements over the last generation, including an integrated share button, a D-pad similar to what was available on the Elite controller, and improved textures on the trigger and grips. The Series S controller comes in white and the Series X in black. The other major difference between the two consoles is the form factor. The Series S is the smallest Xbox console to date. This is achieved by removing the disk drive, so make sure you plan on utilizing your digital library and Game Pass for all your games. At $299, the Series S is a great secondary system for another room, kids, as a secondary place to play Game Pass games from your PC, or as your first entry into the Xbox ecosystem. The Series X is Microsoft's beast of a console, with the highest on-paper specs of any system to date. This allows the Series X to perform at the maximum settings on most games. You'll be able to experience 4K and 60fps or better on most games, including new releases and the large back catalog available on Xbox. In addition, games will typically run more consistently, maintaining high frame rates even in the most demanding situations. Due to the high performance, the Series X is a bigger box by far. With a rectangular tower design, the Series X may have to sit on top of your entertainment stand, but it can do so either vertically or horizontally. The Series X is for those people already in the Microsoft ecosystem who want the best performance and graphics possible, for people with a library of game discs they want to keep using, for people who want to jump in headfirst into Game Pass, and those who want to experience the best Microsoft has to offer. So what games are available on the Xbox at launch? The great news is that all games available on the Xbox One will work with the Series S or X with no issues, and most will have enhanced features, graphics, and performance without any additional effort. Games like Fortnite, Dirt 5, Borderlands 3, Mortal Kombat 11, Watch Dogs Legion, No Man's Sky, Dead by Daylight, Gears 5, Gears Tactics, Forza Horizon 4, Sea of Thieves, Ori and the Will of the Wisps, and more We'll also have enhanced and optimized modes for the Series X, bringing 4K, higher frame rates, and next-gen features. More games will be updated and optimized by developers over time. If you're jumping into Xbox for the first time, or don't already know, all the Xbox first-party titles and dozens of others are available in Game Pass for as little as $10 a month. With Microsoft buying more and more studios, there's something for everyone on Game Pass, and it's easily the best value in gaming. Here's a list of all the exclusive games coming to the Xbox consoles or Game Pass this week. And if you want to see all the cross-platform games coming to the Xbox Series S and X this week, check out our normal weekly video. Bright Memory. This gritty first-person, over-the-top action shooter features fast-paced moves, futuristic weapons, swords, and magical powers. An updated version of the game, Bright Memory Infinite, is coming out next year. The Falconeer. The Falconeer is a mix of Star Fox style open world dogfighting in a Sea of Thieves style world. Use your giant warbird to fight falcons, dragons, airships, and more above and below the water in this epic adventure. Enlisted. Running on an updated version of the Dagor engine, which is responsible for games such as War Thunder and Cuisine Royale, Enlisted is an MMO shooter that puts you in some of the most important and famous battles from World War II. Experience ray traced global illumination, 60 FPS, and high resolution in epic 100 player battles. Enlisted is free to play and part of Xbox Game Preview Program.
And here's the games coming to Game Pass. Gears Tactics for console and Android. Tetris Effect Connected for PC and console. Planet Coaster Console Edition for console and Android. Destiny 2 Beyond Light for console and Android. Final Fantasy VIII Remastered for PC and console. Streets of Rogue for PC. Ark Survival of All for PC, console, and Android. Also arriving for Game Pass Ultimate subscribers is EA Play at no additional cost. That means you'll be able to play 60 of the biggest games from EA like FIFA 20, Titanfall 2, Need for Speed Heat, as well as Jedi Fallen Order, Sims 4, Madden 20, Mass Effect Andromeda, and Mirror's Edge, just to name a few. EA Play will also be joining Game Pass for PC on December 15th. There's a lot more in store for Xbox, including State of Decay 3, Halo Infinite, and Fable. Have you picked one up already? Are you planning on picking one up? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Dragon and this has been SRN News. Stay tuned for the PS5 launch and new games and news as they happen.